Hello, dear friends! Did you know that at the beginning of most books for tabletop role-playing game systems, there is a section that talks about getting into the correct frame of mind so that you can roleplay, have a good time, listen to the jokes, and participate with your party, come up with clever ideas, all that kind of stuff. Just take in the world around you. It's about being present. Something I like to talk about with people, and something I have to do myself, is to cool down before a game. Now, what is cooling? down and is it for everybody. Some people can just jump right into a tabletop role-playing game and that is how they cool down. Some people like myself who have generalized anxiety disorder or some folks who just have social anxiety, performance anxiety, role-playing can be a pretty big thing. And so bringing yourself down to a calmer place of being can be a big benefit for you and therefore for your party. So let's talk about how to cool down before your game. There are a lot of different strategies for how to cool down. These could be used just before your game, which I usually do, or sometimes after your game to cool down after a social experience. It can be pretty intensive for role-playing with a bunch of people. We will talk about several ways you could cool down, some of which involve your mind, some of them involve your body, and some of them involve breath and some are just combining all of these together. Sometimes you have plenty of time to lead up to a game. You can think about cooling down, but not always do you have that kind of time. You're just suddenly finding yourself there and the game is already about to begin. So what can you do in those couple minutes? One option that everybody already knows how to do, it's go for a walk. If you are working from home, for example, or taking classes from home, and you're on Zoom all the time, maybe you're playing online as well, and you're going from one online call to another online call. That can be exhausting. It'll be really important for you to get up, separate from that space, and go for a walk. If you have a pet, like a dog, perhaps go for a dog walk. They'll appreciate it, and so will your mind. You can take that one step further and go from walking to running, for cardio. If you don't want to run, perhaps jogging or even speed walking. There are also exercises that you can do inside on a yoga mat that are a little bit more fast paced that will result in a cardio based workout. These are great because they will result in endorphins that will give you some positive vibes in your brain and will probably last the rest of your night if you're lucky, definitely through the rest of your game. If the thought of cardio is already scaring you away, then perhaps you're more into strength training if you want to get those endorphins a different way. You might have some weights at home that you could use, or you have your body as well. There are lots of great YouTube videos and websites that have some really great body weight exercises that you can also do on a yoga mat. I've already mentioned yoga mats twice already. Here's a third time, yoga itself. This is one that I use if I have maybe 20, 30 minutes before a game. I find that it is really good for getting some endorphins going, my body moving, I get some stretches in, and I'm practicing my breathing, the breath, the entire time. Breathing is important. Well, duh, Ava. No, but controlling your breath, allowing yourself to come down from perhaps a heightened level of anxiety can be really useful and breathing is a great technique for that. Something that you can do at any time, even if the game is just about to begin, is take some deep, long breaths. Ones that usually have a longer exhale than an inhale. That will communicate to your body that you are in a safe place Things are okay and you're not being chased by a lion right now. You were just about to maybe pretend they are being chased by a lion right now, but it's in game. It's in a fantasy land. The square breath. That is where perhaps for three seconds at each phase, you do something like this. You breathe in one, two, three, you hold two, three, breathe out two, three, hold two, three. And repeat, in, hold, out, hold. Pretty easy to practice and do at any time, before the game, during the game, or even after. A step down in intensity from yoga, and you don't even need a yoga mat, is qigong. 
which focuses on repeating cycles of motion tied to your breath. It is very easy to do anywhere, standing, and some of them even sitting. You could spend even just five minutes doing the opening exercise and you'll gain a lot from it. Another way to focus on the breath is through meditation. There are many great YouTube videos online and apps and things of that nature that you can use as meditative guides. And you can spend anywhere from five to 30 or more minutes as long as you have in your schedule and you want to devote to this meditation practice. There are also many non-disruptive hobbies that you can do just before or during your games, such as light doodling. You can just take a pencil and a paper and just go at it, have fun, do a little bit of sketching. There is also the act of being the person that takes notes, which can be very therapeutic, giving your hand something to do that is still relevant to the game and can be very soothing. If you're looking for something to do with your hands, consider a fidget spinner or a fidget cube, something that you can fiddle with that will not be very disruptive to the game. There is nothing to be ashamed of if you feel the need to cool down before you jump into a socially exhausting role-playing game. Your friends will surely support you if you need a little bit of time to cool down. And if you take a little bit of time to plan, who knows what you could spend your time doing. We talked about various different ways to work your body, your breath, and your mind, and some ways to keep yourself occupied just before or during your game. Keep in mind also, all of these strategies are useful for after your game, if you need a way to cool down after a lot of social chatter. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been Fatal.